Good morning. This is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamamatsu, Japan. I'd like to explain the sort of like, uh, or give you the guidance of the mysterious uh, lines uh, of ancient times. Uh, f first, uh, give me five minutes because there are many skeptical people and they're skeptical of what I'm saying. But I explain it a little bit about that. This is uh, Giza uh, in Egypt, and uh, this is Teotihuacan. And, and and now in Mexico, and the last one is the Mohenjo-daro. Now in Pakistan, and this is Mohenjo-daro. And I'd like to talk about three, these three points. Okay, it's a matter of you whether you are skeptical of me or not. But have a look at this uh, angle between Mohenjo-daro and Teotihuacan, 135. Not sharp, but uh, almost 135, 45 multiplied by three or three times of 45. But look at this, the two, two pyramids between a uh, line and two pyramids. And 90 degrees of two pyramids sharply uh, uh, will take you to Teotihuacan. 90 degrees at the 90, you know. But look at this uh, light blue line. And it, it will go to Teotihuacan, Mexico. This is Teotihuacan, Mexico. And this is line from Giza and this is line from Mohenjo-daro, and I, I measure this uh, angle between them very sharply. It is, uh, it is just 30 degrees, and uh, this is uh, sort of about main front approach to uh, 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 sort of pyramid of the moon. Uh, this is the road, and it, it goes straight, really goes straight with uh, along with this uh, uh, approach line approach road or approach, front approach, it will take you to sharply, uh, sharply, very sharply, take you to Mohenjo-daro in, uh, in Pakistan. And is this a coincidence? Okay, you may think this is just a coincidence. Okay, have a look at these lines. This uh, red line run, runs parallel. This is a road, but this road runs parallel to uh, the line from uh, Teotihuacan. And also have a look at this, uh, also this uh, front line, front approach here. This here. The, uh, look at this white line. The line where this is the front approach, and I just drew half of it, half it. But but this will take you to straight to Giza, Giza. Okay. And this line, white line, uh, uh, no blue line, will take you to Giza. This is Giza. The green one down just down below is uh, just from between uh, uh, Nazca and uh, Plehab here. Anyway, have a look at this line and two lines. And these two lines make a sharply 60 degrees uh, angle. The angle of the sharply 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Is this a coincidence? Okay, you may say this is just coincidence. It is easy to say so that, but it is not coincidence. That's what. That's my opinion. 135 degrees, 90 degrees. You see these uh, degrees again. And 30 degrees, and 60 degrees. And this is a. Uh, Front approach of uh, Mohenjo-daro. Are you still skeptical? Okay. Uh, it's a matter of you, anyway. And just accept, uh, you know, this fact as fact. You know, open your mind and just, uh, just uh, surprised at this fact. Be surprised uh, and uh, make sure of this fact by yourself. Yes, it is very important for you to make sure or examine by yourself and uh, to know whether. Uh, by yourself, I am right and wrong. And Mohenjo-daro, and the line will go to Prehavi here. And Prehavi here is a kind of a local hub airport, local airport in Asia. And Giza, uh, this line, white line, uh, yellow line, will take you to Nazca and East Island. This is not what I have, I have found. Someone says so. And this is a white line, East Island. Yep. Yeah. Then. Your, you can expand your sort of a mysterious uh, word of lines. Either think about it again. Is this a coincidence? Uh, Teotihuacan and Mohenjo-daro. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Previous here. Is this a coincidence? Is this a Nazca? Are these coincidences on the lines? And this is Easter Island. Sorry very, for my poor English. Uh, just, uh, I, you know, I studied it when I was very young. Bye. See you again.